heading out to Metal Masher. It's uh, 37 degrees right now, so it's a little chilly. But here we go. Time to have some fun. <laughs> Today we are doing Metal Masher. It is a rated seven trail out here in Moab. What you're actually gonna do is you're gonna start off at the Gemini Bridges parking spot and you'll take Gemini Bridges trail all the way to get to the start of Metal Masher. It is a 27.1 mile trail, but it is a loop. So you actually loop back around and you'll end where you started from. And most of it getting to the trail head is dirt road. It is recommended to have 35 and up inch tires and front and rear lockers. So the first about two miles, two to three miles are along this ridgeline dirt road. It's pretty wild. It's a long way down on your uh, driver's side on the way out, but it's a pretty cool view. At mile six, you're gonna turn off of Gemini Bridges Road, start actual Metal Masher Trail. You'll actually have the metal sign. That's uh, the beginning of the trailhead. At mile marker 8.8, there'll be a fork in the trail. You're gonna wanna go to the left. That will take you to the harder obstacles while the right side is a bypass. Thought. All right, we are at mile 9.3. This is the first of a couple different option lines. If you stay further left, it's a bit easier to climb. The middle line is the gonna be your hardest, and then the right side, which Ray's doing right now. That one's the, the mid-level. This one right here, this one is the gnarly one. So you want to get frisky and have some fun, middle line it is. If you want a little bit of a challenge, right side. If you want to just get through the trail, stick to the left. Oh goodness gracious. You know, when a Jeep's good, it's good, baby. I freaking love my 392. Throughout Metal Masher, there are option lines pretty much scattered throughout the entire trail, like this one right here. That looked way too easy. This Jeep is, uh, yeah, pretty amazing what that thing can do. That was way too easy. Yeah. It's like a five foot ledge right there. No problem in the, the JT on 42s. At mile 10.4, you'll run into Rock Chunker, which is an option line. It's off to the right side. Uh, super technical boulder section, but it is not mandatory to go through the trail. You can just go left and go right around it. All right, at mile 10.7 is Mirror's Gulch. It's basically just a squeeze. Properly named for the wall that's on the inside. A little ledge halfway through it. marker 10.9 you'll come up to Missy's Thumb. It's a pretty vertical climb. There's a couple different option routes. A couple here. The driver's left side is a nice little climb but there are two different bypasses to the right of it. And you'll continue up the stairs and then you'll get to two options. The tougher right side and the easier bypass around the left. Right side is a pretty good climb. It's almost maybe, I'd say like seven foot, seven feet of ledges. Keep you moving through on the trail. On mile marker 11.1, this is Eagle's Perch Overlook. This overlooks back down to Gemini Bridges Road and into the Moab, Utah Valley over there. A little uh, overcast today, so not 
as nice of a view, but I mean, it's hard to say that this isn't a nice view. So Eagles Perch Overlook, awesome spot to stop, have lunch uh, before cruising on to the rest of the trail. At mile marker 13.3, you'll come up on an option line where if you go to the left, you will take the early exit back to the main entrance of Metal Masher. If you head right, that will take you to Widowmaker, which is uh, what on some trail guides say is a nearly impossible climb. So uh, today we are actually gonna take that early exit just to uh, try to go get some more trails in and more Jeep in it. So hitting that early exit at mile 13.3. All right, we just finished up on Metal Masher. It's like 35 degrees, a little chilly outside, but honestly we had a great day. All the Jeeps were great. Um, got up all the tough for obstacles. We did not do one of the gnarlier ones just because didn't feel like winching or even getting close to winching. Uh, but yeah, uh, overall, uh, Metal Masher is an absolute great trail. Um, they have almost go arounds for all the hard stuff, so you can you can do what you want as far as how gnarly you want to be. But overall, here we are, baby. I'm Casey Curry. Thank you for watching. Now, comment below. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Subscribe right here. Watch more videos here. Thank you guys.